where can you find a mixing engineer or a producer to partner with? Now, if you're asking this question because you feel that your mixes are not up to par or your mastering skills aren't quite there and your tracks just don't sound as great as the other people, the best possible mixing engineer that you can partner with is you. You need to be the best mixing engineer that you can possibly be. You need to be the best mastering uh, engineer that you can possibly be. And the reason for that is because if you start partnering with other people, you start losing your income, right? Because now they're going to take either a piece of the upfront or the back end because they're doing work with your music. Um, I'm telling you this because in my career, I've been a one man operation. I am the songwriter, the composer, the producer, the mixer, the master, everything, right? And my own agent and manager. I don't have anybody managing me. So the reason why is because I'm sort of a control freak, right? I like to have complete control as much as I possibly can. There's a lot of things you can't control, but of the, the things that I can as far as like in my studio when I'm making music, I wanna be in control of all of that because I trust my ears. I know that my ears will tell me when things sound right or don't sound right. And I don't want to have somebody else being reliant on somebody else to um, finish my tracks for me because what if they're busy this week and I have a deadline I have to get tracks done and it's like well I need you to mix this track because my library needs it and he's meanwhile got like a paying customer and he can't get to your tracks this week you don't want to be in that kind of situation you want to be self-reliant so that you can just go all right I'm going to mix this I'm going to master it now how do you get better at it right if you're not that great at it how do you get good at it well you know you're <laughs> you already know the answer to this and you don't want to hear it but you're just going to hear it is that you got to work you got to try you got to keep doing it you have to practice you have to keep opening up your sessions uh, and use reference tracks and mix your tracks until your your songs sound just as good as the songs that are playing um on the radio right now or in a music library so that's how you're going to get better at this kind of thing as far as partnering with a producer that's something that I do highly encourage from time to time. I don't think it would be a good idea for you to 100% always be a 50-50 split with somebody. Um, so if you're like a songwriter or a singer, but you don't know how to produce yet, you don't know how to sit in front of a computer and actually produce a beat, that's a skill set you should start working on right away. Because even though you can produce, you can partner with somebody right now, again, what if that person decides he's too busy, he's doing other things, or she's doing other things, and now you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs without any music going out into the world. So something you should start learning is you know going on youtube and typing in how to use logic pro x or how to use pro tools or how to use ableton live whatever you want to use whatever program you should start getting good at it and yes you're going to suck in the beginning and it's going to just your tracks are going to sound terrible for a long time but eventually they're going to not sound so terrible and things will start to sound a lot better so it'll happen now you know part of what i offer with my syndicate group is sort of a collaboration network um, and I'm always encouraging everybody in the syndicate to collaborate. So that is one place that you could find a producing partner. Um, and one of the things that I always tell them is if you, if you produce a particular genre of music, but you're terrible at another one, let's say you're a rock producer, but you can't make a hip hop beat to save your life. Maybe you could partner with a hip hop producer who makes awesome beats and you're the one that has all the great guitar riffs that you can record and you guys collaborate and do some great hybrid tracks right and because there's two of you you can probably get lots and lots of tracks cranked out in a short amount of time um or if you need a vocalist you know you can partner with somebody like that so part of what i why i created the syndicate is because i've personally been in situations where i need to find somebody to create a particular sound for a gig a licensing opportunity and i just don't have anybody right at my fingertips and i have to go searching online like i've hired people online that i've never met before sometimes they worked out okay sometimes they turned into nightmares it was just terrible i'll tell that story another day but i wanted to create like a group of people that really want to uh, work hard and are all in it for the right reasons which is they love making music they want to support each other they want to motivate each other and encourage each other and now that we have this great group of people that are doing this all together you know there's just a massive level of resources there for you to choose from if you want to obviously everybody has to agree to partner with you they're not just going to partner just because you asked them um and if you are going to want to approach somebody to be a, a partner with you on any level you know the first thing you need to do is offer them something don't just ask them to do something for you like hey produce my tracks for me you know you want to offer them even in the way that you word your email to them or your phone call to them or whoever it is you want to first offer what you're going to give them right away you're going to get 50 percent of the, the publishing or the uh, writer share or whatever you want to offer them and then um i already have a 
situation lined up with the library and we already have some great opportunities coming down the pipeline, including this and this and this, right? You need to like hype it up for them. You need to sell it to them. What is it in it for them instantly? Then get into, okay, and here's how we're gonna do our our process is how we're gonna song write. But never go to anybody if you're gonna partner or try to partner with them with your handout saying, you know, give me something. It's just the wrong attitude, it's a losing attitude, and it's like kind of you're at that point you're just begging for change and it's not gonna be a, a winning scenario for you in the long run.